सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी यूनिट फाइव कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन चैप्टर फोर नेशनल वॉर मेमोरियल नेशनल वॉर मेमोरियल न्यू डेली राष्ट्रीय समर स्मारक नई दिल्ली वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन जनवरी 2019. इट इज अ नेशनल मॉन्यूमेंट बिल्ट बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन ऑनर ऑफ आर ब्रेव सोल्जर्स लेट अस रीड इन भारत हार्ट लैंड अ ग्रैंड साइट टू बी होल्ड द नेशनल वॉर मेमोरियल ऑनर्स ब्रेव स्टोरीज रीटोल्ड विद रिस्पेक्ट एंड ग्रेस it stands with pride each name etched each stone each story to confide from battlefields to skies and to oceans wide they stand for bharat side by side the eternal flame in silence it glows paying homage to their courage that shows their sacrifice always in our mind in blessed memory forever remind with pride and respect let's always remember at the national war memorial their sacrifice forever on the bottom of this page two pictures are given the first one is that of a national war memorial and the second one is of amar jawan jyoti page number 161 Let us do these activities. 1. Read the poem aloud. 2. Recite the poem with your classmates and teacher. 3. Remember the poem. Let us explore. 1. Visit the website of the National War Memorial and learn more about it. nationalwarmemorial.gov.in 2. Plan a visit to the National War Memorial with your teacher or parents. page number 162 transcripts let us listen refer to page number 138 kala kritiyon ka bharat namaste you must be tired and hungry after listening to so many people i am sushil from jabalpur in madhya pradesh let me tell you a unique dish of my district it is called gakkhad bharta first we make gakkhad from wheat dough then we make balls with that dough and roast them on high heat to make bharta we roast brinjals and tomatoes then we garnish the bharta with chopped onions coriander green chilies and salt this food item is made without frying to eat it you simply crumble the gakkhad and drizzle it with some bharta and a spoonful of ghee come to jabalpur and try it you will listen to the audio or narration once again as you listen check your answers page number 163 transcripts let us listen refer to page 148 the kites hello everyone i'm happy to share with you some details about the kite festival it is a popular festival in india and it takes place during makar sankranti in the month of january people can even be seen flying kites from their terraces and rooftops and taking part in kite flying competitions this festival is celebrated as uttarayan in western india The festival gives everyone a chance to look at kites of different shapes, sizes and colors. Gujarat is the main center of celebrations, but Uttarayan is also celebrated in Rajasthan and Telangana. In Karnataka, the tourism department has also been organizing the kite festival once each year. Punjab also celebrates this festival of kites during Baisakhi and Basant Panchami. Kite flying is a tradition that is deep rooted in Indian culture and the kite festival is one that is eagerly awaited. 
This is also a reason why people across India also fly kites to celebrate Independence Day. Happy kite flying to all of you! You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Source utsav.gov.in slash view hyphen event slash kite hyphen festival hyphen two Ministry of Tourism Page number 164 Transcripts Let us listen Refer to page number 158 Ila Sachani Embroidering dreams with her feet Hello everyone I am here today to share some simple information about Katiawar embroidery. This is a very old form of embroidery. It uses many bright colors and also uses many types of stitches like the chain stitch. The embroidery is commonly seen on clothes and home decoration items. On clothes, it is seen on children's caps, ghagra skirts and men's traditional shirts. In this embroidery, a lot of mirror work is done by fitting small mirrors along with the stitches. Most commonly, the designs used are geometric shapes like squares and triangles. The design of flowers is also used. There is much more to share, but I'll do that some other time. Thank you. You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook, Textbook of English for Grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical Coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in Production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET-NCERT, New Delhi, India.